Welcome back to Shill Brothers Outdoors. We are uh, shooting on location today. We don't yeah. normally do that. So we're out um, in beautiful, beautiful Northeastern Ohio yeah. on a cold March day to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. And I gotta, but first, <laughs> go ahead. Just, just, just click the subscribe button. Yeah, hit the bell notification. All, yeah, I mean, come just, on. Just hit him. Also, do we, all the notifications. We got Sam, Sam. We got Sam here, and Sam's got a special message for everybody. And that message is, tell him to check out the podcast. Yeah, subscribe. You're on it. To, just, 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 just check out the podcast. You're on it. I'm on it. I mean, I mean, that's the best say, part, right? Say subscribe to the Backcountry BSing channel. And subscribe to the Backcountry BSing channel. Perfect. Yeah, we do live streams there. We force feed our wives camping food. Talk, Sam comes on. We talk to Bigfoot experts. Uh, it's a super fun time, so check that out. The credit for today's video goes out to, to old D-ball D Dan Becker. So, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Dan put out a video a couple weeks ago talking about the weekend warrior versus through hiker mentality. Yes. Uh, and it's something that we have talked to Dan a lot about. Uh, it's something we've talked to a lot of through hikers about. So I wanna just, I wanna talk about it today. We all know about through hikers, right? Of course. They're people, they hike either the AT, the PCT, or the CDT. And well, that's those are the long trails. There's lots of trails you can through hike. I'm specifically talking about the long trail through hiker mentality here. Okay. Now, we've uh, Andy and I have talked to a lot of through hikers. Um, I, I, it is kind of interesting. Basically, what the last like what? I mean, we've been backpacking since 2009, and through hiking these long trails was never a big thing. Uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely gained in popularity. It, ha it has gained like so much steam over the last like four or five years in particular. And I think that's because people, a lot of people vlog them now. I was gonna say, so one thing, I mean, obviously there's been an explosion in YouTube and backpacking YouTubers and also just like vagabond style YouTubers. It is awesome. And uh, it is, it's a good thing, but I think yeah. that has blown up the through hiking thing. Yep. I also think it, it's, it's important for Andy and I to note that we definitely want to through hike a long trail yes. at some point in our life. Probably not the AT, <laughs> uh, but that is definitely something that we want to do. You know, you talk to a lot of people and, and they're not necessarily interested in that. They're not interested in being homeless for five months. Yeah, that sounds glorious. Uh, that does sound cool, but I mean, Andy and I, we we're just not yeah. at the point in our life where we're able to do that. And I think that's probably what most people feel like. Yeah, Sam, you, you all want to through hike? Of course. What do you want to do, the PCT? I mean, yeah, we've always wanted to try some of that PCT. Nice. There has definitely been a little bit of friction, specifically in the YouTube community, about this weekend warrior versus through hiker mentality. Yeah. I mean, and, it's true. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we are self-admitted, self-diagnosed weekend warriors, and we embrace it. Yeah, and I don't know, we, um, we get a little bit of hate, just a little bit. We don't get a, we definitely don't get nearly as much hate as some of the other Weekend Warrior YouTubers. Yeah. I mean, Dan's fighting the good fight for yeah. us. Yeah. Um, but, and it's gotten a little bit better, but there definitely was, um, and you know, we're not gonna call out any particular people or anything like that, but there definitely was some like serious friction when the Weekend Warrior YouTube channels started to get big. Yeah. And bigger than certain through hiking uh, channels. And that's kind of the basis of this video. You know, we've had to deal with it a little bit. Um, luckily, like our followers are pretty cool and like we're just open and honest about the Weekend Warrior mentality. But there are like, now the, the, the problem I have with it is there definitely is like a little bit of, I would call it elitism. Elitism? Elitism? Yeah. Elitism? I, I, elitism. I, I, elitism. I, I think weekend warriors also perceive that sometimes too. That, that can be true. And and one thing I, I also want to call out that's like hugely obvious is, is I do think that if you spend five months backpacking, you're probably gonna be a good backpacker. Yeah. yeah. You know? And you're probably gonna be qualified to give advice and tips and stuff. And that's something that the weekend warrior people don't want to admit. I readily admit that. I mean, like, I understand if you wake up every day and walk for five straight months, like, you're gonna get good at walking and hiking and, and camping. Yeah. Yep. But there is something uh, I also wanna talk about, and that is, like, through hiking is a luxury. Yeah. 
Like it's an absolute luxury to be able to do that. And it's obviously an accomplishment. Like I don't know, we've never done it. So we, I can't speak to like the physicality of it and how hard it is. Um, I'm sure it's, it's not easy, especially no, like the AT. It's not at all. But you know what else isn't easy? And you know what else I'm gonna say is harder? is getting your ass up every day and going to a cubicle and slaving away for the man. <laughs> and I don't think there's enough respect for that. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, like, for sure. Yeah, like through hiking, it's awesome. It seems glorious, but it is a luxury. And at the end of the day, and this is where I'm gonna get so much hate. At the end of the day, you're waking up and just walking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're waking up and you're walking all day. Oh my God, I can't wait for the comments. Yeah, I know, it's fine. It's true though. I think a lot of people will, will agree with me. But here's here's what I'll say too, to like, uh, as another argument, like 95% of the YouTube backpacking culture is all geared towards weekend warriors. And that's something that I think pisses off the through hikers is like 90, I would say 98% of the people interested in backpacking YouTubing videos um, are people like us and honestly, we got to give ourselves a little bit more credit. I mean, we go out at least once a weekend, and I think that's a little bit more than once the- Once a month? Or, sorry, yeah, yeah. We go out at least once a month, and I think that's way more than most weekend warriors. Yeah. Um, and part of that is we just like being out in the woods and testing stuff, uh, but there's just, there's way more of us than there are of them. <laughs> I also don't think the and, through hikers it, like that. Yeah, and plus, you know, yeah, you know, you need, you need all these people out there buying all the gear, using all the crazy weird stuff you would never take on a through hike. I think to wrap up this weird rant that you've suddenly created. Yeah, well, it's like if people are talking about it. I know. We might as well talk about it. People yeah. ask us about it. Yeah. Through hikers talk to us about it. Yeah. I would say this. Every single through hiker that we know, when we have friends that are through hikers. Oh, they're awesome. They're fantastic yeah. people and we're super jealous that they were able to do that in their in their lives. And that's awesome and we and we are jealous and we hope to do that one day as well. Um, right now, it's not in the cards for us and it's not in the cards for most people to be honest. And so, we will continue to support the weekend warrior community. We will buy weird gear, test crazy stuff, and we will self-admit that we are not uh, crushing miles day in and day out on the trail. But, as a mild counterpoint to that, I think you can still be a weekend warrior like us and still be a legit backpacking oh, yeah, resource. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, what's the definition of a backpacker? I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, there is definitely some mild elitis elitism from some through hikers. And so it's warranted. I mean, honestly, I got to give you credit. If you through hike, you're going to be at least good at backpacking on some capacity. Yeah. Um, and I think that's warranted. But I think weekend warriors have a place in the backpacking community, they have a place in the YouTubing community. Oh, for sure. I mean, who, someone's got to test all this gear. Yeah, someone's got to do all the Talking Heads videos. Yeah. Uh, but it's just something we want to talk about. And all, all credit to Dan um, for releasing a video. You know, I'll throw a link up on the screen right now. He does a really good job of talking about this sort of mentality. And, and Dan's gotten Dan's gotten a lot of shit. I mean, there's yeah. no beating around the bush. But you know, us weekend words got to stick up, stick up for ourselves. And then you know. We look forward to the day where we, we do uh, our one through hike and then we can just We're, we can just shit on all the weekend warriors. <laughs> yeah. You guys suck. <laughs> yeah. Well, like we always say, we'll be the retired 65 year olds hiking the PCT 10 miles a day. Yeah, that's gonna be us. Uh, thank you all for watching. Yeah. This is this is a there's very low substance to this video, but it's something that's fun to talk about. And I, I don't I just I saw a rift uh, happening and we needed to address it. Yeah. So Kyle, if you're watching, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect ending. <laughs>